Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and this is episode two of Scott Tries. Now, this series is going to be relaxed fit, uh, as in we're going to be kind of rough around the edges here. As in, I'm going to try things, I'm going to break things, I'm going to uh, make assumptions, and I'm going to prove myself wrong and ultimately occasionally look really dumb as I try to figure this stuff out. Uh, this video in particular is on Scott Tries Begin at begin.com. Now, Begin is Modern Apps Built Fast AF. So, uh, very fast. Uh, they're fast AF. Some might say blazingly fast if you are uh, up on that. So, their, their promise is that they're going to build stuff fast. You can get started for free, no credit card required. We're going to do that. Um, so, that's really what this series is all about, is here's some services. There's so many services on the web today that can help your business. You can build your site on it. You can build your platform on it. You can build your app on it. You can do so many of these things, but it's really hard to get a feel for what these things all do and are and where they fall into the space. The first video that we did in the series was on Hasura, which actually fell into a slightly different space than I had anticipated, but it was a really amazing product nonetheless. So uh, it's kind of going to be eye-opening for me, and hopefully it gives you a chance to see inside the mind of somebody who's using some of these services or trying them for the first time without knowing what they do. Okay, so Modern Apps Build Fast AF. Begin is a ridiculously quick platform for building modern web. So they're, they're saying fast. They build, you build modern web apps, sites, and APIs. So it looks like Maybe there's a front-end component to this. I don't know. It more than just APIs, apps, and sites. So maybe it's the back end. We'll see. You can sign in with GitHub. I'll be doing that in a second. This is okay. So this is the third time that they've mentioned that it's fast. So it's fast. Apparently, it really it's that fast. Uh, what is fast though? Insane. Uh, instantly go from an idea to production. Begin. Apps take seconds to create, build, and deploy. And boy, do they ever scale. Somebody really had fun with the copy on the site, and I appreciate that. I, I like the colors. I like the site. Good design. Effort. I don't know about this line height, though. I might change that. Um, effortlessly take on enormous, unpredictable traffic loads with begins globally available serverless infra uh, infrastructure, most likely <laughs> SSD backed databases and CDNs all based on the best of AWS. So it's built on top of AWS. For those of you who don't know, Amazon web services, and, uh, it looks like it's a platform for building really fast and scaling forever, scale forever, be faster, more power, less config. I like those words. I like less config. Um, I'm not like a no code head, but I do like less config. Dead simple workflow, the cloud you've been waiting for. Okay. Open core, not just say no to lock in. Begin is a on a foundation backed Apache 2 license open core. No proprietary tech. No risk of lock in. Eject, eject your begin app. So it looks like it, um, it looks like it's a platform for starting things. And if you prefer to move off of it, you can eject. Cool, cool with me for that. Looks like they do have a pricing model. So there is a free with up to two apps, shared app resources, single developer, limited throughput and database usage, basic support. Okay. Then there's 25 bucks, which is really not that much. 25 bucks a month for 10 apps, dedicated app resources, invite teammates. This is some decent pricing here. Um, I kind of like this 25 bucks a month. And then it depends. So again, somebody had fun with this copy, uh, Give that person a raise. They're doing a good job. Uh, just looking at the poop you're not doing with begin. Stop wasting time. Okay, let's sign up with GitHub. This is uh, this is the opportunity to go for it. Let's do it. Let's get into the app. Okay, authorize. Yeah, let's authorize this. Um, which one of these is the right one? Picked it. Got it. Got him. All right. Choose a username. S. Talinsky, that's pretty good. You know, I think that represents me, my Twitter handle. Follow me on Twitter. Shout out to Twitter. Big, big ups to Twitter. Okay, so we have our begin app at begin.com. Hello, let's make a new begin app. Ooh, choose a runtime, Node or Deno. <laughs> if 
If you're not watching Syntax, uh, check out Syntax.fm for one. Uh, that's Syntax.fm in your or just Syntax in all of your podcast players. You can check it out right here, too. Getting a little silly here. Tech to Watch in 2020 it was our latest episode. We do a podcast. I do it with the magnificent Wes Boss. And uh, hey, that's me. Uh, so check it out. Uh, we just talked about Deno. And Deno is... Uh, built on Rust, I believe, and it is a sort of new runtime for the server. And it uses TypeScript and has some really interesting things. It's created by the same creator of Node. So this is really interesting that they give you an option for Deno. I don't know enough about Deno. And also, I don't know how to say the word Deno. I don't know how to say Deno. Uh, people have told me it's Dino. People have told me it's Deno. I've heard it said both ways in different conference talks. So uh, it's either one of those, apparently. Deno. I'm going to say Deno because that looks like correct to me, but I'm not a good wordsmith. Enough on Deno. I'm going to say I'm going to build a node runtime. And from here, you get a lot of options from Apollo to React and Svelte. Shout out to Svelte. Love Svelte. Uh, example apps. So you can start with a framework like Svelte. This is interesting. When I click on Svelte, it takes me directly here. So that's a button, not a selector. This is a selector, and this is a button. Not like the most crystal clear on that, but not a big deal. Uh, example apps, you can get started with these in minimal, basic apps, personal website. Okay, since I don't know what I'm doing here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started with this personal website. It looks kind of interesting. Um, and I want to see what this can give me out of the box as a personal website. I'm going to select this. And this is also a button. My personal website. We can say Scott tries. Oh, this is funny. This box is like expanding based on this. They need an overflow. Scroll on that. Um, begin. Okay. This is funny. Let's keep keep this going. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fun. Um, this is what I do when I, when I, this is my life. Okay. So. Yes, GitHub, Scott tries begin, go live. Will this repo be private? No, this would be public, I don't care. It looks like there's probably like a price lock into the private thing. I don't care. Create a personal website. Ooh, okay. You know, I like the colors. Colors are nice. Not like typical colors. You know, I'm into not typical colors, you know. Syntax, yellow and black, love it with some green and blues, whatever. Level up tutorials, we got teals and purples. Love it, okay? Into colors. So it looks like we're getting a nice little verify, lint, build, test. And I see green. I see a congratulations emoji. And let me tell you, so far, so good. Uh, I want to say that I like experiences that do this kind of hand-holding. I don't really need the full page takeover that's like, the app button is where you go to the apps, the dot, you know, this, the, my account is where you look at your account. Like I can get that stuff, but this kind of handholding is really nice where it's like, all right, welcome to this thing. Uh, we, we see green. We know that it worked. Here's what you do. Let's push a little code, go to your GitHub, make a change, push those changes, come back here and watch it build. Thank you for giving me those instructions. Begin. I appreciate you. I'm going to head to here. So let's check it out. Your full name, Scott Joseph Tolinsky. I mean, they said full name, so I'm going full name. Uh, uh, um, let me tutorializer and podcast man. Okay. And let's go ahead and just click commit changes. I don't want to, you know, you could give these a commit name, all that stuff. I'm just getting this going. Okay. So I committed those changes and I did that deed of uh, editing it on GitHub. And this is kind of interesting. Uh, you can see that it's starting to build or did it already build? There's a retry build button. Uh, no, this is a different banner. It says that's all it takes. Commit automatically kick build. So uh, I like that. Uh, and now it wants us to deploy to production. This is a nice kind of handholding. It's saying here, this is your first time. Let's do this thing and uh, deploy release notes. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, minor major patch uh, release notes. This is nice. I can say 
um, added name and title. Ship it. Beautiful. Copy. Man, they are on it with the copy. They're on it with the animations. They're on it with the colors. Oh, and there's a squirrel. <laughs> there's a shipped it squirrel. Um, begin. Big, big props. Begin. And I get a trophy at the end of this. Uh, I'm the person who likes this kind of stuff. If you don't like this kind of stuff and you're like, a you know, no fun tech head, then like, that's cool. But I like this stuff. I like it a lot. This is fun. Um, I'm having a good time. Your first production deploy feels amazing, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, check out your handiwork. I'm going to do that. I got to see my handiwork. Uh, here it is. My personal website, tutorializer and podcast man, uh, Scott Joseph Tolinsky, Tolinsky. I got an image here. So here's what's cool about this. You use something like, let's say, uh, Squarespace or Wix. And you get something like this, right? But do you get something like this that is hosted on a GitHub repo with automatic builds and whatever? This seems like a really cool space. Do you know what this kind of reminds me of is they're taking what Netlify is doing where if you don't know Netlify, let me pull up Netlify here. We can get this going. Netlify is a host and honestly my favorite host for a lot of reasons, but Netlify is a host that um, does all these things for you, like these automatic builds when you push to uh, when you push to a repo, gives you all these HTTPS, it gives you all the stuff that you you hate doing, right? Every nobody likes setting up an SSL certificate, it's just not necessary or fun. So this gives you those options, uh, but Begin takes it a step further and says, you know what? Not only are we going to take care of those things like the hosting aspect and whatever, but we're also going to build you a website. So interesting. It's interesting. I don't know if I'm going to use this for this kind of thing, but I'm very interested that it's a generator for a lot of things. Like this was just a build your own website starter, right? It looks like you can create your own HTTP functions uh, with parameters. Okay, that's cool. Interesting. And it leads you through everything really nicely. If we had two functions, I'm gonna guess that these are serverless sort of functions here. You can add a function. Um, your begin app is comprised of small, lightweight cloud functions. That seems interesting and I like that. Um, if I add this and update this, I'm betting, let's go ahead and add a, a path here. We can just say Scott, add function. So it's provisioning a route. It will kick off, it's provisioning a route. Interesting, one, two, oh. three, four, five. I'm wondering what this is doing. I wonder if it's actually modifying this repo here. That'll be interesting. If everything lives in the repo, I would assume that this is creating things besides creating a cloud function, right? That's really what this is doing is giving us a serverless function. That's why it's taking so long to provision this. But I'm wondering if it does anything with this as well. Uh, we'll see here as this gets going, it looks like, um, did that work? I know this is saying that a uh, route already exists, but um, that's from the one time I clicked it. Oh, okay. So I just needed to refresh. Here we go. We have Scott as a route. I'm gonna see if they made a commit to here. We have five commits and now there is 10 commits. So it did a lot of stuff. So it looks like there's a continuous integration. It adds source HTTP, Scott gets Scott index. It's got package.json, added git scott here. Um, so this added a whole bunch of stuff. I like that. It's all locked into the repo. So again, you can move it off if you need to. I don't know what the process of that would look like. I don't necessarily want to figure that out right now. You have your env variables. You have some data. Data is high. Okay. So it's a key value document database. I don't know what the type of database is. Begin data. Is this its own thing? Begin data. Begin data. Await. Begin data. HTTP session read. Get table accounts. So this looks like interesting here. What is this database based on? Those of you who may know already or can tell just by looking at it. I don't do a ton of database work, so. Let's see, it doesn't really say, I bet you could figure it out if you 
you looked. Okay, here we go. Uh, enabled HTTP API such as begin data, so it's its own thing, or DynamoDB or FaunaDB. Uh, FaunaDB is something I want to do one of these videos on as well. So if you're interested in that, let me know because I'm interested in checking out Fauna for no reason other than I am uh, want to check it out. Static assets, teammates, domains, and settings. Okay, really cool. So this is begin. It looks like it's a really interesting way to try and build things. It's like, it's sort of like a, it's like a hosting service like Netlify, right? Where it does a lot of things for you, the build tools, the continuous integration. It also takes the role of something like, um, what is that? Uh, it kind of reminds me of a little bit this Yo Man. Um, if you haven't seen Yo Man, I'm giving you a lot of stuff today. If you haven't seen Yo Man, Y E O M A N, this has been around for a little bit, a scaffolding tool for modern web apps. I haven't used this in a long time, but this thing created a bunch of stuff. It was a generator for you. And this feels like it's a generator mixed with Netlify, where you have serverless functions, you have uh, interesting stuff. And on top of that, you have database with begin DB or uh, whatever, if you're using Fauna or any of those things, I'm not quite sure how that works. Or you can have a Deno app. This looks like, uh, it looks like a website creator that gives you access to um, more than just the stuff that Netlify gives you. So maybe you could think of like Netlify is the perfect place to do Jamstack apps, front end apps, those kind of things. And this is maybe the place to build your API or the place to create things really quickly for you. There's a lot here. Uh, there's a, a lot to dive in and I'm going to spend quite a bit of time diving more into this. It says you are using one of your two free apps. We can always create a second one. I'm not going to make you sit through me creating a second app, but if I do click Svelte, I'm interested. Uh, to see what this creates. So maybe I will make you sit through it. We'll see. Um, it's creating another one for us. We have a production and a staging environment. I do like it gives you a production and staging URL, gives you this nice little provisioning site when you go here early. Um, all around pretty fantastic. They did a, a really nice job of the details. And I think that this is one of those things that it's still maybe early days for this. Maybe you've never heard of this by now, or uh, maybe you've seen it, but let's come here. I think this is a service that uh, you should have an eye on. Uh, you get two sites up for free like this. I'd do that. I'd do that really quickly. Hello, here's your, uh, your begin API. Change me. Is this server side rendered? Um, it's not server side rendered. I don't know what the picture on that would be like. Maybe that's something to look into. We can edit it on GitHub. Again, I don't want to get too into this. This is Svelte here. If you don't know Svelte, you should check it out. We got a course on that, leveluptutorials.com. Um, and we got a tutorials uh, series on Svelte called Svelte for Everyone. And it's one of my favorite, or Svelte for Beginners. I'm sorry, this is one of my favorite series. I love Svelte so much. I want to make another one. Let me know if you want to see that as well. Uh, okay, so that's it for Begin. If you want to check out more content from Level Up Tutorials, head to leveluptutorials.com. You can sign up to become a Level Up pro uh and you'll get access to every single one of these series that has the pro badge on it look at that stuff look at that so many series uh if you head to courses this is a really new feature that we added to the site here um it's pretty neat it sort of leads you through learning different technologies and like i said there's two here right now but there's going to be many more as we go uh and with some including some really fancy stuff coming so uh keep it heads out leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro sign up for the year save 25 percent check out syntax.fm there we go. That's me being silly. Uh, this is Begin. Check it out, begin.com. I have no affiliation with Begin. Uh, they have not paid me. I'm not getting affiliate cash for this. I'm just trying it out for the first time. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.